when we think about high cholesterol levels, um, we think about heart attacks, strokes, um, and that's, that's very well established. But I think something that a lot of people overlook is that high cholesterol levels in the body um, can affect many things, and, and including uh, our muscles and our tendons. There's actually an interaction um, between the cholesterol and the molecules uh, in our tendons, uh, which causes the cl high cholesterol to gradually accumulate in the tendons, uh, which is very unhealthy for them. The cholesterol accumulations can be very, um, uh, very extensive. There, there can be quite large depositions of cholesterol in the tendon. We call those tendons anthomas. Um, you can get just a massive thickening in the Achilles tendon and it becomes very painful and swollen, uh, hard to walk, hard to run. This problem is, is very under-recognized by physicians, by physiotherapists. Um, many people who, who develop tendon problems um, really only receive treatment for the tendon itself. They might get exercise, they might get anti-inflammatories, uh, or other treatments, and the cholesterol levels are never really considered to be part of the problem. Um, in fact, a, a, a tendon problem can often be the first signal that there is a, a problem with cholesterol which needs to be dealt with. Well, we really want to know more about the effect of high cholesterol on tendon health. Are there, are there specific changes that we can see in the tendon that would be useful in the clinic to help recognize the cases? Um, um, and what's the actual effect on tendon function? And tendon function is measured by um, how well the tendon can, can absorb load and how well the tendon can return that energy as we're uh, walking and running. So, you know, we're really fortunate here um, to have Dr. Charlotte Waugh, um, a biomechanics expert in our laboratory. And over the course of her PhD, she's developed some really innovative methods to measure um, how tendons function. What, we, what, uh, what Charlie does is um, gets people walking or running on the treadmill, and um, they have an ultrasound probe strapped over the tendon, as well as some motion capture markers. And so she can really carefully track um, the length changes of the tendon as people are walking and running. And they're doing that on a force platform, so we can calculate um, the relationship between the force going through the tendon and the amount of stretch. So another aspect of this study is helping physicians, we hope, um, be able to get a handle on uh, diagnosing tendon xanthomas. Because we're, uh, this study involves people who have inherited very high cholesterol levels, uh, another really interesting part of the study is we're taking an ultrasound scan uh, of the Achilles tendons of each of those people that come through. And we're starting to be able to identify some features in their Achilles tendons that we see on the ultrasound. And if we can describe those changes carefully, um, we think that, that information is going to be useful for physicians to be able to diagnose this. I mean, many of these people don't have any pain in their tendons, but if we can identify changes with the ultrasound, that'll be really helpful in, in diagnosing.